Hello, I'm the Budget Mother, and this is episode 60 of my King Tiger and Berg Panzer diorama build. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment, and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. Well, it's been 10 long months since I did any work on this build, mainly because the tracks were pissing me off and bits and pieces were falling off. The King Tiger, oh, it's just winding me up. But I've got over that. Didn't take too long, did it? Much. So we're working on the hexa tracks and I'm using a graphite pencil to bring out any metallic area where the tracks connected with the wheels. So without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. There we go, that's the Hetzer tracks done. What I did was once I'd scraped the graphite from the pencil, I used a silicon brush to apply it. Next up, we'll get the King Tiger tracks done exactly the same. So, here we go with that. That was the point where the tracks wound me up so much by they because they kept falling apart. Yep, I nearly threw the tracks out. The, that was it, they just kept falling apart on me. Anyway, let's crack on with putting the Hetzer tracks on.
There we go, that's the trunks glued on. We'll pop those over there to dry. Next up, we're using Dirty Downs Rust, AKA Talent in a Bottle. So, here we go with that. There we have the talent in a bottle done. Now to reaffix the crane cable. And there we have the rest of the crane cable fixed onto the Hetzer. Next up, we have the figures. Well, some of them. Here, we'll be cleaning them up and then filling in bits and pieces. So, let's get cracking, shall we? There we go, that's the figures all cleaned up and filled. We'll pop those to one side and allow them to dry. Now for the elephant in the room. Well, actually, the King Tiger and Trax. These bleeders just kept falling apart on me. Oh, I wish I got metal ones. We'd finish this by now. Anywho, let's crack on with this, shall we? Maybe not. These really affected me quite badly for some reason and I'm really not sure why. It could be the fact that I got frustrated with them. I don't know. Anywho, let's move on to other things like reattaching shells, gluing the barrel in place and a few other parts. So let's crack on with that. There we have those bits reattached onto the tank. And again, I'm messing with the tank's tracks. Just a quick gluing this time. I am doing bit by bit. There we go, done a little bit more. I've glued that bit. Now on to the Bergpanzer. So let's get these tracks on here 
and sorted, shall we? After I've just cleaned up 10 months of crap and dust and all sorts of it. So here we go with that. There we have those parts of the tracks done. That just needs to set like that. So while that's setting, let's make a table and a vise. So there we have the table and the vice done. Next up, finish off this side of the Bergpanzer's tracks. So let's do that. And there we have the tracks on this side of the Bergpanzer finished. Anywho, this seems like as good a place to end as any. So thank you for watching episode 60. If you want to see what happens in episode 61, I promise it won't be 10 months, then please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling. <laughs>